Hello everyone, welcome back to the Patent Channel. I'm John. And today, I'm at this place to sell Mexican American food, and I believe their name is pronounced Taco Pell. This is a watermelon lemon freeze flavor. It's decent. It's very lemony. I wish I had more watermelon flavor. But it's sweet. So it's nicey. And it tastes good. But that's just a little sneak peek of what I got going here. So I got two items here. One is um, this burrito. This is the Steak Salsa Verde Burrito. And it's basically a steak burrito, but it has a new Salsa Verde sauce on it. But I also have this Enchirito, which is a returning thing. And it's basically a little burrito with some cheese and some sauce around it. And you can't pick it up because it's so saucy. Uh, so I'm just going to stab it down the middle, maybe. I pick it up. The Enchirito was something that used to be on the menu all the time, and then at some point it got removed, and now you can get it as an online exclusive. Take a bite. It looks like it has beef, beans, and onions in the middle. Uh, it has red sauce all around it, and it's messy. It's nothing too special, but it was something new, so I decided to try it anyway. New, as in, it hasn't been on the menu recently. I believe they had like a contest online to return something to the menu. It was this or the Cool Ranch Taco. The Cool Ranch Taco won, uh, but then this popped up as an online exclusive. I haven't seen the Cool Ranch Taco yet. So it's interesting that it, this is the loser when it came out first. I think the plan was always to return both of them. Anyway, here it is, the main attraction for this review, and it'll probably be the only thing listed on the title of the review. This has French fries in it. They're uh, the French fries that they serve at Taco Bell. A steak has the salsa verde sauce. It uh, has uh, these little red uh, little corn chips pieces probably some other stuff let's bite into it and see there's a cheese sauce in there Steak, fries, cheese sauce, and I believe shredded cheese. The salsa verde. The red strips. Let's see if I can just scoop a little bit of the salsa verde out. Good taste. It's a little spicy. It's not dumb. Not very spicy, somewhat spicy. It's not immediately spicy, but after you think about it, you're like, hmm, it does have some spice to it. It's not too flavorful. All the other flavors in here are way overpowering to it. The cheese, the potato, um, the steak, of course, and the salsa verde really does not adding much to this.
It's tasty. But uh, the new part of this is just disappointing. Like, it tastes like a decent burrito. Like any Taco Bell burrito. The, the salsa verde sauce just doesn't have much flavor. It doesn't have much spice. This is like basically all potato in there. It's like potatoes and cheese. A little bit of meat. And the barely spicy sauce and cheese. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it tastes fine. It's just that the new part of this is disappointing. Uh, as in, it doesn't add much to it. For that reason, I'm going to give it a thumbs down. I'm going to give it the Enchirito a thumbs down. The watermelon lemon thing. It does taste like watermelon. It does taste like lemon. I think it, it's like mixed up. So I think if you get a lot of lemon in it, it's going to overpower the watermelon. But this, that sip I had... It was much more watermelony and less lemony. So I think as long as the layers are separated and the lemon isn't all over the place, it's not going to overpower the watermelon. I'm going to give this one a thumbs up because I think I just, uh, my first sip where I wasn't tasting watermelon, the straw might have just been in the pocket that had a lot of lemon in it. But that one tastes pretty good. So I'm going to give the watermelon lemon freeze a thumbs up. And Chirito. Salsa Verde stuff, two thumbs down because they're both disappointing. And Chirito is just a bean and cheese burrito, a meat bean and cheese burrito, and in a sloppy, uh, messy uh, format. And like I said many times already, the Salsa Verde is just kind of bland and disappointing. They recently had other different sauces they've added that were really good, both the, the truffle sauce and the... Um, there's another brand, Rooster Sauce, maybe, that they added to it. That Those were both really good and very flavorful. This one, they didn't have like a brand name with it. It was just their own Salsa Verde sauce, and it just was bland. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.